This is a brief overview of audio recording and playback on iOS with C++ Builder XE5. This audio record playback mobile code snippet makes use of the T media player component. Behind each of these buttons is the code to perform the specific action. To start recording, we get a reference to the microphone through the capture device manager and then has microphone checks to see if that reference is assigned. If it is, then we attempt to record to this audio file name, which is test.caf, caf being the format preferred for audio recording on iOS, and then we start capturing. If we get an exception, we display an error to the user. That's it. At this point, we've started recording. In order to stop recording, we check to see if the microphone is recording, and if it is, we just tell it to stop capturing. To playback, we go to our media player component and we set the file name to the file name we recorded earlier and we hit play. And then we just call it, tell it to stop and we're done. Here it is running on my iPad. And when I hit the start record button, this audio was recorded on the iPad with C++ Builder XE5. Stop recording and then I can play it back. This audio was recorded on the iPad with C++ Builder XE5. That's all there is to audio recording and playback on iOS with C++ Builder XE5.